Hello friends, welcome back to uh, Faction Focus for uh, Iron Harvest. I don't know if I ever said it's the name of the game. I know it was on the screen, but I don't think I ever said Iron Harvest last time I played. Um, we're going to continue forth. Uh, the screen looks a little different. I was looking through to see if there was a way I could play without an AI. Just so it's not like 50 minute videos, but this is a new game. There's only five episodes. So I guess it's kind of good if you get to see like, you know, different things like that, of course. So. Unfortunately, I will be playing these kind of like just matches against a uh, computer. I'll be trying my best to show off the faction, though, like every unit in the faction and kind of what they do, of course, though. So, but as you see with the AI, it's going to be the Saxony uh, for this faction. My cat is donking against everything. He's bonking his head on stuff. We're going to continue. Uh, let's actually set up, make sure off, off, off. Settings, we want um, this to be Tyler disabled, enabled. We do want... What are the, uh, I want this to be Annihilation, please. Can I please have Annihilation? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. I wonder, I guess you just get, like, some... Some, uh... Level ups from playing skirmish, which is pretty cool, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, Annihilation, please. Sables, iron resources, extreme, of course, and uh, the R size is high. That way we can get everyone out there and everything if we need to. So, Lunarite, let's continue. We shall also be the Saxony this time. Of course, not bringing in any boys. Not until we do that action focus i will i'm i'm thinking of a different name so that i can kind of branch into other games um and it may be the first time because he all doing all heroes is going to be uh interesting i may do actual editing for it too so we'll see but uh it's going to be called um thinking of calling it specialist showcase you know me i like my alliterations of course and so uh specialist showcase will be stuff like this probably you know a little bit of this where i'm going to show off a bunch of these really cool units all at once or it might let me branch into other games that have like you know um say uh like things like roguelikes where they have different heroes that you can pick is kind of where i'm thinking the game where specialist showcase might come into play as well because i like reviewing and maybe rts are very fun but there's a limited amount of them um i don't mind being known as an rts person but i i do like branching a little bit as you know i've started this channel i think with dead space so it's not an rts only channel of course so Saxony, of course, doesn't matter about the uh, hero at the moment. Um, not going to really worry about reserve units or anything because it doesn't matter that much. I picked the Placid Oasis this time. He is once again staring into your soul, and so is he back there. He, he looks like he's like, wow, those guys are so cool. And he's like, I am so cool. And he's just there. There's a guy. Actually, there's this guy right here. Establishing field command. Stand by. So, I'll be a little spear this time so we don't get thrown off guard. That headquarters looks awesome, by the way. Never realized how cool the headquarters is. Same thing, uh, these guys carry around MP40s. I believe the Saxony are meant to be Germany in this case. Awaiting orders. Um, kind of makes sense, though, based on some of the portraits and everything. They also carry MP40s as their uh, base unit instead of rifles. So... Uh, hey, look at that. We get little anti-air turrets at the base, kind of to help out off the bat. That's pretty cool. Orders received. Um, let's get these boys going, just to get some... They are called stormtroopers, by the way, which I think is where stormtroopers came from, is early Germany. 
Standing by for orders. Uh, let's go a little speedy here. So we got our barracks that we'll pull out. Put this back here, might as well. You could also build uh, engineers from your base, like from your headquarters, in case they go away. As you can see, we're like getting things much quicker than they are. Of course, let's get these oil barracks upgraded, just in case. I don't think we'll run out. Um, let's see if we can actually steamroll the uh, AI this time. Thank you. Let's keep going, shall we? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go back to base. Let's get you guys, let's get you guys all set up so that you're, you're hanging out because you are the standard infantry. Uh, they also have battle cry. I don't think the powers tend to change between them. Um, they usually always have the same one. So we're going to do that. Quickly complete. build out the uh, also the mech bay as well. I kind of wish uh, they had. What is this, by the way? Oh, you could they can build anti aircraft. Uh, we're also gonna quickly we're gonna actually upgrade first that way. But let's get a good look at this a little shooting range, a bunch of little buildings. I think I can. It's fine. I don't mind that. I think there's a way to orientate the map differently. I can't think of it, but these are little like huts. They all live in a little more, definitely a lot more stationed up than Polania, um, visually, of course. But uh, pretty cool, as you can see, a easy AI. They like even this fast, and they still haven't collected their nearby resources. Um, but we're quickly upgrading and building as we can, of course. So let's do that. Look at that. We even get a little cool bigger hut now for both sides. So we've seen these two already. We're going to get our, our standard, the Grenadiers. We do get medics, though, which is pretty cool. My cat is making an entrance. He's bumping stuff. So sorry. Field cannon and our sky bikes. They all have sky bikes. I actually may cut the sky bike out. Where is he? Cancelled. Because we, everyone has a sky bike and they're all the same, I think. Grenadiers, of course. Showing off portraits, I guess, for these guys. And everything like that. I guess if there's any similar units, I'm not going to really care about them. These guys, though, are not special. Or are special to the these guys. So, medics. I'm trying to think if these guys look any different. They might not. Get the cat down here. He's coming to help. You're in the way. Get down here. Come on. Enemy units. That's fast. Come here. There you go. Taking time to do it. All right. There you go. He's down. He's hanging out. He's like, I just want to be included. All right. So, uh, medics. We'll keep these guys, like, over here, because this looks like where they're going to try to, like, start off pretty pretty heavily. So we're, they're going to hang out and help those guys out. Uh, our other boys, though, are anti-armor gunners. We have, let's just say, mortar tubers. Uh, the heavy machine gun, I believe the same, mortar is the same, and of course our airlift is going to be roughly the same as well. He's just trying to fall. He keeps doing that every time. We're ready to hunt the enemy's armor. As you see, they're the similar. To do our duty. They do have, I think, different kinds of cannons, though, than the uh, Polinius cannons. I do believe these are the same cannons right here, though. Um... I'm trying to show off specifically that what are you doing down here, bud? Actual suits reporting. Oh wow, you are super cool. Location acknowledged. Wow, I love him. That voice. That's very similar to um Position confirmed. Very similar to the uh like the that one tank from Red Alert that I love so much, her voice. They are so slow. Um, I do think roughly they're all going to be similar. 
if not the same type of unit, just the kind of flair of each one. Um, I'll show him off though. You know what? I will show him off a little bit. I'll try to get this guy back out just in case he's a little different. Um, we'll get everyone out just to see what their like personality types are like, I guess, for each one. You are slow. I give you that. You are super slow. Yes, so they do definitely have different personalities. I don't think the bikes or anything is very different. Right away. But they do uh, have some different voices, which I think the voice lines I think are pretty happy about. It's good you guys out here to help out too. Multiple enemies identified. Tell us what to do. anti mech cannon standing by. I just like listening to them and everything. So they're either going to come around there. So we're going to just get this guy out here. Awaiting an assignment. Just for sake of this, just put this guy right here for funsies. Mortar making ready. Mortar making ready. Airlift reporting its audit. Yeah, it's the same airlift. Just has like the different person talking and everything. That is it for infantry for the Saxonians. Very cool, though. I love the exosuits. Nothing matters until we've won. Position God, they are intimidating. I can't imagine seeing them in real life. God, that'd be terrifying. Let's get our, our infantry, or our mechs out now. Uh, Saxony definitely is probably one of the better for mechs. Germany in real life tends to be, like, incredibly, like, tech, create, like, tech impressive. I was like tech crazy, but they're not. They're just tech impressive. Um, and uh, so these guys tend to be really cool. First off, we have our little Gatling gunner robot. He is so cute. You look like a tin can. Very good against any kind of base infantry. <laughs> now, when I said tin can... I didn't expect the next one to look like a sardine can, but it is still really cool. I love how it moves, just so like natural. Like it's like your can he's a tank. You it, it's you took the chassis of a tank, and then instead of treads, you just put spider legs on it. Next up is of course all of our big ones. Do I get exactly everybody? That's impressive. I have just enough. Form up. Attention. I think this increases army size. I'll just do this one. This one doesn't increase army size. Your, uh, like mortar bombers launch right at the top. Pretty cool. He is so slow. He looks like those little droids from Star Wars, like the little ones that just kind of waddle back and forth everywhere. They're like have like no real bearing on um on like the actual plot. Think of him, but bigger. It's his older brother. This cat's going to fall. You are going to fall, Bubba. Don't think this is a. I, <laughs> could you imagine turning the corner? And all you see is three Max looking at you. Oh my God, this is, this guy looks really cool. He is just older brother. Now he's one of the coolest in the game, the Steifenmutter. He launches a bunch of little. He's based on the um like Da Vinci's tank kind of thing. Um, he launches a bunch of little circular explosives at his enemies. He is awesome. They they track targets too. And then we're about to get out. I think the biggest one. Currently, I believe. Is that the largest unit they have? 
I think it is. Yeah, one of Saxony's heaviest war machines armed to the teeth with a variety of weaponry. And they could do actually kind of a few things, including entrench. And it has a different set of attacks once they can do it. Of course, same thing. So, these are all of our units. Really cool. I love them. Um, to be honest, they legitimately might not be able to... Who's talking? Probably one of the regular dudes. So, attacking now means they're likely not going to be able to compete. There's our wheels. Look at them go. Doom, 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 doom. I was unfortunate, I will admit. Um, we are going to attack move. Just into their base. <laughs> this poor little guy is going to get there first. He's so much faster. Because... Oh, they already got their one of the heroes out. Not talk about him too much. I really, this is the kind of game though that I wish had, I wish had more of a ability with, um, I wish I had more of an editing prowess with. I actually can send you back, see if you can run away in time. You might not be able to. This is one of our heroes, though, because I'd love to show off for, like, a very solid, detailed... Oh, does he already have one of those out? He's not going to be able to make it, especially because he's going to get hit in, the, in, like, the rear armor kind of thing. Unfortunately, is there not a way this way? There is, but it looks like they have barricaded themselves in. Let's see how these guys go about taking in stuff. Moving as directed. Moving as directed. That's so cool. Unfortunately, you are too slow. What can you do? Oh, smoke stream. Pretty cool. He's not going to be able to get away from those. Yeah, I was going to say. Don't think. That is impressive damage. They do genuinely feel like some of the most impressive units are just these little circle boys. Come on, mono wheels, let's go! Slowly but surely. Oh, there they go. His mono wheels are too buff. This is... These little wheels are too much. Look at that, man. That was like, that's crazy. So let's test a theory, shall we? We're gonna build some boys. Yeah, let's get these boys just going in, just to see what they can do. The unit has become veterans. I think, unfortunately, they don't have a veteran thing.
We found an enemy. You're getting chased. Why? Significant enemy force detected. One of our squads has fallen. Taking enemy fire. See how much this can do. Red. You will sacrifice yourself well enough. What do you need? Take aim. Granted, you will die like really fast. One of our squads has fallen. These wheels are too much. Multiple enemies identified. Oh, I forgot you were here. You just set up shop and did nothing. They will often send literally just engineers or medics to take care of things like this. This lone boy, he will... You can't run away. We're nothing but wheels. See if you can book it. Can you book it in time? I believe in you. Owie. See what happens when you send this many out at the same time. Interesting. These maps, by the way, are beautiful. There is at least one out there. <laughs> I know of one. Fire. I didn't realize you guys would take so much damage out on them. Jeez. I'm gonna beat up your pump. Oh, you guys are the slowest moving things in the world. So what we're going to do is you're going to attack move. Just mess with anyone you come across. And then we're also just going to, for funsies, get a couple of you. See what happens when you have a kind of the, some of the higher end units. Who's hitting you? Who's hitting you? Oh no, your weakness. Something you literally can't hit. Oh, can you repair? Can you like rebuild these, so to speak? Oh, you can actually like kind of rebuild them again. Don't think she's gonna last. Uh oh. Doof. Doof. We're gonna see what happens when we got 15 of these guys just roaming around, hanging out. Unfortunately, you do some damage, but also unfortunately, you can't handle as many wheels. Also, where are they storing this many wheels? Ooh. There is some units that definitely will end up hurting them enough. Oh, and he's trying to run. Running running will do you no good against wheels. They also transport. There's no way you can run away from the transport. Of course, that airship is, is doing his job too well. There are anti-air guns around here, which will probably mess these boys up. But let's see how close we can get them while these guys are busy attacking other wheeled structures. As you see, you can't just win with that kind of unit. 
But let's see what happens when we have a unit that the game didn't intentionally come out with, naturally. Unfortunately, I have a lot of them. Unfortunately for you, you are outgunned. Oh. Oh. That was like a hurt. Lord, these are powerful boys. Impressive. Oh, these guys are built a little too well. I will admit, just, just a little too well. I know they, they ended up adding these guys because of USA. Like, they wanted air, air combat. But... These guys are a little, a little bonkers. Granted, I know they're meant to be... I think the highest... Like unit other than i'd say like heroes heroes are the only ones i think comparably are like superior especially usa seeing as how they have a aerial hero we will have to speed back to base because i think brewhelm is coming in here I don't know what Wheelman over there is going to gonna attempt, but... Let's take on uh, the bish. That hit me. And that sure is, and that's hurting. We may lose an airship because of this. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. I was, did not think about that. Oh, uh, let's get some boys out here. Oh, I, I had an airship that I didn't realize I had hanging out. I wonder if he's going to try to send Bruhelm back to base to protect. Oh, well, they didn't send Bruhelm, but they did send... Uh, She may be able to take on that. Ah, uh, yes. Why can't you attack? Are they like high ground kind of deal somehow in the air? Ah, they did send Brew home back. Brew home is not having it. I am going to lose another airship because of this. Bruhelm may take on a lot of my units, actually. Do you have an ability when you go down? Okay. Bruhelm might not last, actually. Bruhelm might be able to take on... Definitely the last one, but Bruhelm will not last against two more of these guys. Oh, Bruhelm, I'm sorry. All right. Bang bang. Yeah, they're they're not going to be able to last. Hostiles are shooting P pistols at airships. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking because of these guys, they are considering it still active. 
Because I could remake. Not anymore. Who here is keeping me? Ah, oh, it's a wheel. The wheels are causing it. The wheel does not know what to do. He cannot attack air units. I think this might be the last guy. They haven't sent anyone else. There we go. Saxony! I didn't show up the bunker, I'm sorry. Can't Zwan be part of this, didn't you? Pretty cool though. Mission difficulty medium, was it? I don't think it was. Wasn't that hard. There was some instances of it being worse, but not that bad. Oh my god, level one infections. Alrighty guys, that will be Saxony though. Uh next up I believe the Bruce Fiets and then the USA or the Usonia, I believe is what they're called in this. But as always, I'd like to ask you to like and comment. Any kind of comment would be wonderful to hear about these kinds of episodes because they're a little bit different. Um, and as always, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. If you do, I think you're wonderful. If you don't, I still think you're wonderful, so it's completely up to you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.